Anthony Ferraro and Mancina, two blind guys, collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Clusive. You, woo, woo, woo. Woo. That's right. Our first partnership, Stoked. Clusive is a online learning platform designed by and for the visually impaired. Did you know that the average salary for a blind person is only $27,000? Clusive graduates have increased this by 1.8 times, almost double. That's almost double. Almost double, 1.8. And they're constantly teaming up with large companies to bring you more meaningful and higher paying jobs. So they're teaming up with the companies to provide these jobs for the blind and visually impaired and get them actually in these jobs with no um, discrimination. Is that correct, Daniel? That is correct. And everything also, is. <clears throat> Go ahead. Did you know that only or did you know that 86 percent of uh, job interviews are done virtually and inclusive will give the blind or visually impaired individual the skill set to pass this interview and be confident they're the only ones providing training for the visually impaired for online virtual in uh interviews so, that's crazy almost 100 percent of jobs so make sure you go check out clusive if you're blind or visually impaired you know someone that's blind or visually impaired or if you're a big business that is looking to hire blind or visually impaired clusive will hook you up yes go to clusive.io backslash student and learn more Yo, 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 USA, 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 USA. <laughs> Happy 4th of July episode special. Happy 4th. We're celebrating the independence of the blind <laughs> and the independence of the United, United States, States of America. From Great Britain. From, do you have to specify that nowadays? I don't know. I just... I guess it, I wanted to let people know I know history. Did you hear that? <laughs> is <laughs> that a Bud sound, Light? Which is a that sounded like a Bud Light. This is a sponsored ad here. This is not sponsored. I'm gonna show you how zero dollars from Anheuser Busch. Using the finger. Oh, yeah, I Use the finger. I missed a little bit. I missed oh, just no. a little bit. What are you pouring that in? The eagle. Oh. And the eagle will fly. Will fly. Is he doing it? You have to kneel down, though. Oh, do I? For our great me? nation. I'm going to let this cool and not fuzz as much. Ah, I need to get on the mic. Sorry about that. Yeah. There. All right. There I'm he gonna is. I'm going to let this eagle hang on. I'm going to let her let the uh, let foam the die fly. down a second. Where the eagle is just going to. Let it fly. He's going to soar here above the <laughs> nest for a second. Ah! And a sucker punch came from somewhere in Ooh. the back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be mad you mess with the USOV. I was born in the USA. <laughs> I was born in the USA. Shout out to Bruce from, my, from Asbury Park, right by where I'm from. Is how he is, huh? Yeah, he's Bruce. Didn't they like... New Jersey. Didn't they say he's not from there anymore? He Now he lives he in went, like... Because he went like full Republican or whatever. No, he... he <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They don't claim they don't claim anymore. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I always heard. He, <laughs> he definitely moved out of Asbury a couple yeah. times over. He moved on. Got up. a little horse stable. All right, I think we're gonna kick this freedom funnel off, baby. You ready? The freedom funnel. Is he doing it? I gotta take a knee somehow. Dead, 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 dead. US of A right here, baby. Um, Tell me when you start. All right, ready? Set. Oh, you say go, then I'll go. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Set. Go! Dead, 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 USA! 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 Hey! Did you finish that already? Oh my Damn god! It. Woo! Nothing like a. Do not try these at home. Nothing like a um, Greek salad and a beer at 10 a.m. <laughs> That's, bad. That's not good. Not really good. <laughs> it's not good. A Greek salad on Independence Day. Ah, we gotta put the eagle up. I don't want him to be leaking it all. Yeah, you don't want the eagle leaking. Try to get all the drizzles out. But. Dribble, dribble. Ah! My eagle don't dribble, dribble. It's it sores. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, you stay there. Good eagle. Oh, good eagle. Perched. Good eagle. He's perched. perched behind us next <laughs> to the uh, Casper board. Casper! <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you got the full dragon coming if it out. ain't Bud Light, it don't taste right, Bud. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we don't get a Bud Light sponsor after that one. Yeah. Woo! What time is it? It's probably the earliest beer I've had in a <laughs> long time. Wow. I do not condone that act. Responsibly. It's the only one I'm going to have all day. That's good. Today, <laughs> baby. That was quick, dude. Fourth of July. That was you like open up your throat hole. And it just it up, pours I down. down. I mean, I'm I'm not in season right now. Sometimes. How fast can you chug a water bottle? Yeah, probably about that fast. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, three seconds, four seconds. Jeez, that was quick. I can chug the waters after his post skate sesh, dude. Just oh, I can do two back to back waters. You know. Shout out to Paul Revere. <laughs> Wanted to say that. Is he the one who um, let us know the British were coming? He was watching the candles. Was yeah. he, did he put the candles in the window? One candles or two, two by one by land, two by. I'm sea? just trying to act like I'm good at history. I really am not very. Sure. Paul Revere bringing up the rear. Up the Paul Revere rear. I got my my uh, U.S. of A. hat on here. Let's see. Stars and stripes, <laughs> cowboy. Try that on. Doesn't fit very well with the headphones. Doesn't. Do you have it over your head? It's like a cowboy hat with... I don't actually know what color... I know it's Stars and Stripes. Oh, you gotta put your headphones on like like this. But there's a band around it with all the... Howdy! With the, with the actual tactile stars, which feels cool. Yeah, the stars are dope. I'm not a big cowboy hat guy, though. Oh, the ca- I didn't feel the tactile stars. <laughs> yeah, and it was cool. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite part. Yeah. Tactile. I don't know where the actual stripes are. If it's just the whole hat is red and white. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Someone describe us this hat, please. Yes, comment. What does it look comment. like? DM me with the... Yeah. DM Dan what his hat looks like. DM Dan the Mancina. Or no, DM Dan... DM Four Bad Eyes. Yeah. With what this thing looks four like. Four Bad Eyes. Let us know what it looks like. That's sweet, dude. Who got uh, you that? Oh, the gas. Stop burping. Hey, I'm on you. That tastes good. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to fill it up again. Fill it up again. I'm going to do one more. Frank the Tank. Frank the tank. Dan opened it's a so beer. Good. Dan opened it's so a, good once it hits your lips. Dan opened a beer yesterday. I was like, what are you drinking, bud? And he's like, a seltzer. Because Dan's going to judge me. I don't judge. judge I don't care if you drink your beer. I just judge, that it's, bu- good, I judge that it's Bud Light. Oh, you do? You're a craft yeah. beer guy? I'm a craft beer oh, guy. I took my thing off. Don't do that. <laughs> I went to... Yeah, we're just celebrating. Like, Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had a beer. What are some of your uh, favorite 4th of July memories? Do you have any? Ooh, fireworks. Sighted ones? Fireworks on, on the lake. Which lake? Um, lake Hero. Oh, that's sick. Me and Kelly went to the Wait, uh, not sighted, fireworks in Lake Michigan. Fireworks over Lake, lake Michigan. Michigan. Shout out to Kanye. Kanye. <clears throat> but it was, yeah, that nice. was sick. That was cool. Just fireworks in general, yeah. I love fireworks. Do you still like fireworks? Oh, I love fireworks. Still on Lake Huron, you just hang out there on the beach and it just they're just going off you all along the shore. You could feel them in your chest, dude. You can see them across the... Dude, oh, I gotta look up when the ones... It is the best, closest you're gonna get to the exploding fireworks <clears throat> in Dearborn. It's called Dearborn Homecoming. You're laying on the field and you're literally... The ashes from the fireworks are falling on you like the whole time. No. They are going off like right above you. <laughs> is that regulation? It, it does not seem like it is. <laughs> and it's the sickest fireworks show. It is the most epic grand finale too that you're ever going to... I mean, yeah, like you said, your chest is just vibrating. Dude. Right above... Dude, it's the best. That's That sounds like when I went to Maine. They were like right there. Like so... F- we can close and dealt. It was Delta's first ever fireworks. Oh snap! And we weren't. Well, the second the first one went off, uh-huh. she went to like book it, dude. And yeah. thank God someone got her in time. But like, I don't think I ever would have seen my dog again. She was uh, so bugged. Oh, Does Otter did like you have fireworks? To hold her? Yeah. You could hold her the whole time. Not like hold her, just stay by her with the leash. Yeah, yeah. She was just like, "What is?" She going was just on? like kind of freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think she. She's still like. She's gotten a little more accustomed to him, but she still gets pretty spooked. Uh huh. Like she doesn't want to go near anywhere near it. Yeah, Adder hasn't been like that close to fireworks, <coughs> like that. You know what I mean? He Has he heard him though? Show. Yeah, he's definitely heard him and doesn't. Yeah. He didn't really he's care. Just chilling. They yeah. go off all the time, like around here. They're always launching them off the lakes and stuff. Yeah. I heard the 
Did I talk about that? No, I don't think I did. But yeah, I heard him for the first time like a couple weeks ago. I always love that the first time you hear fireworks. Oh, you did? For like the summer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, people just getting a little getting a little trigger happy out there. <laughs> Dude, people, la- I live in like a little suburban town by the beach and like people light off fire, like big fireworks and it's like super mm-hmm. illegal in the town. And you're like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Do they big have disturbance. a Jersey? Probably has a big show. No, like Detroit has a. Big they do show. on the um the beach in Point Pleasant. They do them every Thursday, right off the point. Yeah, there. right, right yeah, off the point. I've crazy. never seen. You can see it's like four towns over. And you can see them from our town. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've never seen them. <clears throat> I've always wanted to see them. Like you can go on the Detroit River where they launch them off. You can like be in the water while they're going off. That would be pretty sick. Oh, that's sick. I've also wanted to do it when the fireworks are going off here. You'll see like little planes flying by. That would be sick. Like flying above the oh, fireworks. Oh, that's you know nuts. I mean? They're like, dan- cool? like they're yeah. doing the stunts. No, they're just like cruising. Just, they're just little private planes, you know, that are just <laughs> going for like just watching the fireworks from the sky. Oh, that's nuts. Imagine doing that. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be epic. I would like that. I uh, When I was at Disney, they had fireworks every <laughs> night and you could see them from our spot. That was yeah, cool. And they would do like a music show with them too. Fireworks. What else? Oh, Detroit. Every every Friday night game or Saturday night game, they launch the fireworks off at the, oh, at the Tiger Stadium. Yeah, that's cool. Where, did they do it when you were there? Mm-hmm. I've been... Uh, where did I go Didn't that you go like two game? weeks ago? Three weeks? Yeah, what game was that? Saturday. So it must be... They must do it Fridays. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever day they do, I know they do it one weekend day every time. But it's like every every week they launch them at the at the end of the game. You know, it's got to be expensive, dude. It's funny the freaking like uh, rituals we like America's developed over the years for Fourth of July, like grilling. You know, like it's mm-hmm. all like what does that have to do with independence? You know, barbecuing, yeah, barbecue. Barbecue, fireworks are kind of, a, I mean, that kind of makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Just celebrating the bombs, yeah. dude. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> what else, dude? I have a hand-sewn, did I ever tell you this? I have a hand-sewn American flag. No. I did it all fucking. Wait, you did red. it? Yeah. <clears throat> and then I did, I even embroidered each star. When you were blind or sighted? Uh, I was blind. I was like newly-ish. Blind. That's intense, yeah. dude. How long did that take you? Dude. Weeks, cause I, cause I did each star. I did, I just did the, <clears throat> cause I wanted to hand embroider them, so I did the thirteen colonies, the original flag, which is like a circle yeah. of stars, you know. Seventeen seventy six. I just took a, I did a piece of cardboard, and then I had my lady, exacto knife out the stars, like the pattern, and then I just attached that to the actual blue. Rectangle that would oh, be on the flag, yeah, and then I embroidered <coughs> each star within that, dude, and it was sh- brutal. They're a little small. I got. I actually need to go. Do you have it there. still? It's hanging up in my room, dude. Oh, <laughs> but I usually bring what I do is I bring it because we go up north, up north Michigan, which is just July. like yeah, for Fourth yeah. July, it's like up in the woods, kind of. Not really though. Like two hours from where we're at right now. Mm-hmm. Two hours from Detroit, pretty much, and. uh I always bring that flag though, and I have a little flag pole that I bought that you just stick in the ground, and it, uh, it flies for freedom, baby. Freedom, baby. That flag's never touched the ground. That's right. Did you know the flag is never supposed to touch the yeah, ground? Yeah, I definitely know that. There's a bunch of rules. It can't be used as like a drape. There's what do a, you mean? There's like a million, there's not a million, but a lot of rules with the American flag. And a lot of them aren't followed. <laughs> and yeah, if a, fly, if a flag is flying at night, it needs to be lit up. I feel like that stuff used to be way more... Do you know that? Wait, what is it? Yeah, flag needs to be lit up. If is that why they always have a light under the light yep, poles? Yep, oh. yep, yep. Or, or why they always raise them in the morning and take them down at night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never knew that either. Yeah, we used to have to... At that blind camp I was talking yeah. about, we used, to, <laughs> we used to have to freaking take take down and put up the flag. Yeah. In the I remember it was like a thing, like whoever got to do it was like an honor. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And the flag was freaking really heavy, dude. Yeah, it was a thick, yeah, yeah like a nice, super thick heavy. Flag, it's cra- I did not realize that. I love a nice, thick flag. Oh, I should have had my flag hanging behind us right now. Next year, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you should have. I, I, my grandpa got me, I think he got it like overseas, though. <laughs> but he gave me like a varsity jacket. 
Leather yeah. Forest, once I started training for the Paralympics, he was like, you should wear this on your travels, Anthony. And like, it's this freaking varsity jacket that has a hand stitched, like embroidered flag on the back, like USA. Jeez. It has USA on the sleeve. Sick. It's like so hardcore. It's like black and then white sleeves. And I was That's like, Grandpa, epic. I will get like <laughs> jumped in other countries with this thing on. Yeah, we always go big when we go up north for the fourth to wearing like hats like I'm wearing right now. And <laughs> you got it. We had like tank tops that all of them had like a drinking reference to um, <laughs> historical. Like our forefathers, no. So it'd be like Abraham drinking, <laughs> Woodrow wasted. <laughs> like, um, oh my so god! We, we all had our own tank top. Did you make them up or is no, that is that like just, a thing? They were bought. Yeah. That's so funny. Which we always do that. <laughs> Abraham drinking, and I always have my red, white, and blue Biden suit. Oh, Good man. time celebrating this great nation of ours. I am yeah. proud to be from here. Yeah. It country. seems like it's the good country to be from. Seems like the rituals and like rules of the flags and all that stuff like used to be followed way more hardcore than it is now. Mm, Have you notice that? Well, yeah, because freaking. I mean, the further you go back, the more they were followed because they had literally dying for that. No, flag. like yeah. I remember being a kid in school though, like seven years old, yeah. and I thought if I dropped the flag on the ground, it was like a mortal sin, dude. Yeah, they, they drill it in. Yeah, you can't let the flag touch the ground. Yeah. Respect the flag, son. I bleed red, white, and blue. Yeah, baby. What else do we have? Dude. Our independence. Yeah, we're all celebrating independence. Yeah, independence. As blind day. people. Exactly. Did you, you probably felt... You oh, that naturally maybe. had to feel super dependent when you went blind, no? Or were you... Yeah, well, that's what be. I'm saying. The own or the O and M was my big independence orientation and mobility. mobility. Using the white cane, that was the big. Because you had a step. cane before you went to O and M, right? Yeah, just and flap, you didn't really flapping that thing out like a <laughs> like a I don't even know somebody who doesn't know how to use something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flapping that thing around, like I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Um. Wait, so that you didn't like use it though, really, right? Before O and M, or you did? No, yeah. You I mean, I had it, but like I said, I was just flapping that thing around. Do you remember your first day of O and M? Like a kindergartner water garden in a, a freaking <laughs> garden in a garden, a water in a garden. I don't know what I'm doing? Just spraying water everywhere with that thing. <laughs> like, oh, a, like a kindergartner with a fire hose, man. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with that thing. <laughs> There we go. There's a reference. I could not pull one out, dude. Oh I could not pick one. Oh. That was pretty good, though. Kindergarten. Oh, you look like a kindergartner with a fire hose. That, <laughs> that get easy. Just flapping it around. That's funny. But then, yeah, then I got um shout out to uh, another proud sponsor. Um, can't remember the name. Leader Dogs for the Blind. <laughs> Oh, you went to Leader Dogs for the Blind for O&M? Uh-huh. They have an O&M class course. Yeah. Really? So oh, for the people that are trying to get dogs but don't have great O&M yet. Yeah, because you need to be... O&M trained. Yes. You have to have great cane skills That's in right. order to you be able to, to get a dog. You have to have great, great travel skills to have the dog, yeah. yeah. So they have like a course for that. So I, I spent a week there. <clears throat> what was that like? It was like dope, first day, dude. first day to last. First, day. Day. it was nervous, but then it was like the most inclusive environment I had ever been in at that point. Oh, like, like okay. there was braille on everything. There was like, like the lady like showed me my room and then like explained like everything in the room. You know what I mean? That's like nice. they, see these are the drapes. These are when they're open and these are when they're closed. Stuff like that. Like this is the shower, shampoo, blah blah. This here, here, and here. That's, like, um, extremely helpful. It was. That was the first time I had experienced anything, any kind of, like... Someone explaining something, like... In a way that, yeah, that actually that made, made sense. That made sense, not just visual. Like, oh, there's a blue thing over there, blah, uh-huh. blah, And that only made sense, but was in a, like, a respectful way, not, like, undermining you as yeah. a blind person. You know what I mean? No, like, <laughs> talking like, like you're just like yes. them. They just like, this is this, and this is this. Here Almost like they need it, too, but... They don't. They're just talking yeah. to you like it's that normal. Right. Yes, it was very normal. It was the first time I had been like, yeah, like where blindness was a normalized it, environment. Did you ever feel like a burden before that? Yeah, 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 for sure. 
That's a and shitty just the way, Like I said, that's my number one, was my number one pet peeve of like people just talking to you like. Down. down like, and yeah. Like that. And that this place there. You'll hear their tone change, like get that like really nice tone or like trying. Yeah. Like, yeah. I hate that. So that was my Independence Day. <laughs> what what was date was that? Two, I don't know. That was a long time ago. Um, uh, 2000 and... Uh, I don't even know, dude. It had to be eight years ago, I think. Did you make friends there? Um, My own instructor was really cool. That's what's up. The, there was only, I think, one other person who was doing the o and and it was like an older guy. Oh, okay. It was like a cool dude, but... So yeah. were you like by yourself and you would just go to these classes every day? They had the classes, yeah, and there's like <laughs> your, your meals every day. Is that when you had to do the drop off? Yeah, that was when I had to drop off, yeah. Oh, but it that's... was like every day from like 7 a.m. to like 5 or something. It was like long days of Oof. just straight, straight up O&M, dude. Like for, what was the first lesson? It's like just how to hold the cane. Oh, I can't and... remember. It. Yeah, it wasn't even using the cane. It was like um, how to tell someone how to do sighted guide. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah, advice, yeah, yeah. How to give advice to somebody, like, this is how you do it. Grab the elbow, soda can grip. Did they yes. say soda can grip? Yeah, like yep. C, C grip or whatever, yeah. soda can grip. Um, so you're, like, the right pace behind them, and then, like... And then if they go in a narrow place, you they put their arm behind uh-huh. them. Oh, yep, mm-hmm. yeah, you got it, dude. Oh, I know. Yeah, this, we actually learned all that in the I VRT learned that school, too. too, yeah. Um, And then it's crazy, because... You, like, don't think there's such a technique to the cane, but, like, you're supposed to, like, it's supposed to come on your right side as your right foot's back. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. do you know all those details, too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was probably the first day, too, of, like, yeah, like, you almost, it's like you're kicking the cane almost. Exactly. And it's, like, um, what's called? There's, like, a, on most canes, there's a flat spot on the grip, Uh and they tell you you want to put your pointer finger, like, down that, kind of. Yeah. And then keep your cane always like belly button height. Belly button yeah, in front, in front right of the, in the belly button. Yeah, and right in the middle. I've, yeah. Did you get jabbed when you were doing oh, yeah, training? I still get jabbed. I still do yeah. too. But that's was... why I have a little airbag right here. <laughs> <laughs> a little protective covering. <laughs> Getting jabbed, and then the people have a, a weird skip. So like you have such a routine of like like you said like kind of like it's like you're kicking the cane so the cane mm-hmm. like you, when you bring your cane coming to the right like your right foot's going back yeah and, and your left foot's when forward. going to the left it's like your your right foot's kicking, kicking the cane it to, the other to, side. to the other side but you're not actually touching it with your feet right right you're just it's like that that pattern Motion, yeah but then when you like when you um if your cane gets caught up on like a crack or something some people have a little skip. <laughs> oh really so like i do it a lot too now i don't know if i did it because the o m lady told me about it <laughs> and now i do it all every time they're like so like my cane will get caught up and my footsteps will be off so i do like a little skip hop <laughs> skip <laughs> so like, hop to get me back in the pattern you know what i mean oh man that's funny yeah i didn't even think about that <clears throat> i sometimes too when i'm walking really fast i find myself like whipping my cane back and forth oh yeah yeah, when I'm moving quick, sometimes I'll be like zigzagging real quick back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's like freaking scanning. sword. Scanning like crazy. I can't do that. How do you do that noise? You got to move your tongue like forward and back. Like. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, yeah. I also can't do that thing when people make those bird sounds with their, uh, no, no, no. They blow into their hand. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't do that. That's next. That's some next level whistling right there. That's some bird calling. That's some. That's some whistling that came from like our forefathers right there. <laughs> Probably say. Woodrow wasted. Woodrow wasted was out in the woods, <laughs> calling in the old American eagle. <laughs> the old eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I remember my first beer. <laughs> I got. I'm. I'm thirsty for another one now. Nope. Nope. You're cut off. It's too early though. It's too early. The breakfast mulligan. Put me right. There. I'll be sleeping by two o'clock, dude. Exactly. Before I even leave. Uh, also, I remember. I remember my first day of O and M though. Actually, it was mm. in the school for the blind for in Philly. When I was going there. Mm-hmm. And my instructor, her name was Betsy O'Donnell. Bet- and she- Dude, Betsy? Shut up. 
Wasn't that that's who? Isn't that who did the flag? What? Who? Who? The first one to sew the flag. Oh. Am I mix? I'm mixing that up. I can tell. Yeah. Betsy? Molly Pitcher. No. No. <laughs> Betsy. Oh my God! How dare us? Sorry. Rosie? No. <laughs> no. It was where it was Bet- Betty, not Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, dude! What the heck am I? Sorry, keep going. Who was the first person to sew the flag for America? I know she. Was Here's the... what I found from Thoughtco.com. The actual Betsy Ross. Betsy January Ross. January first, seventeen. It was Betsy, Betsy dude. Ross. Betsy Ross. Tying it all in, dude. <laughs> all in. Betsy. I did that on purpose. She was your first. She was my first. Teacher, yeah, dude. Betsy, dude. She hand sewed your cane. <laughs> It had the little American flag on the the uh, handle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do need to, We should get a red, white, and blue cane. I man. know we could. They make custom canes. Mm-hmm. But Betsy, she was like hardcore, dude. Like she took no <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like and she, I remember my wrist used to hurt at the end of lessons. Uh, like because I was a little kid, man, yeah. and like because you were getting it when you were older. Yeah. How old are you? Like twenty. Yeah, twenty. Six. I think I was first or second grade, and Betsy Dang, comes in, dude. Yeah. Betsy's the one that taught me how to sign my name. She taught me like mm-hmm. all types of stuff, and I'll never forget. She had the maps. You read the maps. She taught you how to sew. No, oh, okay. she didn't do that. She taught you how to read maps. Though that's important. Yeah, and she would even like create, uh, create like r- roots on this like Velcro board. She'd have this like Velcro oh, board, okay. and then you'd With have like the streets and yeah, stuff? like L shape. Uh, things and then like, like, like different turn. intersections and stuff. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we would make the route, and then we'd go out. And Betsy was hardcore, dude. She, if my cane was any wrong position, she would freaking fix my wrist. Like, yeah. and my wrist had to be whipping. Like it was all on the wrist too. Like the wrist whips back and forth, not the arm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was like, dude. At the end of the days, my wrist used to be so tired, and I. Just, I, like I used to hate Betsy. Like oh, I God. thought she was the worst teacher and now ever. Got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I thought she was the worst teacher ever, and then I realized, like she's growing up, she's India. like one of the best mobility instructors ever. Yeah. <laughs> she took me on like the trains, like the subways in Philly. Dang. And then I remember when I was like back home, I had this other guy named I think his name was like Mike Moore or something, and he used to take me on the train to from jersey to new york city uh-huh. and that was like i remember feeling like holy shit like i could do this you yeah, know like yeah. a, that was a really cool feeling like getting from new jersey going up to, like by the beach going up to the city like, how young were you when you were riding the train probably like nine or ten little yeah. yeah i was little like my mom made sure to get all this stuff like drilled into me so i'm yeah, really thankful sick. for that dude Shout out to Betsy Ross, dude. Betsy Ross. Betsy and Moore was that her real? Oh no, Betsy O'Donnell. Oh, I mixed up the guy's name. Betsy, Betsy O'Donnell. Was her name. Yeah, yeah, Betsy O'Donnell. She, if it wasn't for her, I would not have the cane skills I have today. And Joe Ruffalo gave me my Joe first cane. Ruffalo. Hello. You still have that first cane? You said. Still have it. I gotta. How tall is that thing up to? It's like knee? to my kneecap. <laughs> That's a freaking adorable thing. I do. It is, and it doesn't fold. It's just like. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's like one piece. That is hilarious, so cool. Yeah, that was a great, great times. So learn how to use the cane. I used to hate it, dude. I used to see. That's the difference. You learned cane techniques and all this stuff like willingly, right? Like you, uh-huh. you wanted to be independent. I was still a little kid, so I didn't get it all. Yeah. And I was like rebellious towards it. Like yeah, I hated I it. Ready. I, I was ready for it. Yeah, exactly. I hated the cane. Like I thought the cane was. Stupidest thing ever because I still had a little bit of usable vision too. So to, to my eyes, like I could see. Yeah. And I was like, screw this. But they all knew like I was gonna lose it and whatever. Uh-huh. And then like that braille, I hated braille, like all this shit that like is so good to me today uh-huh. and like I need in my life. Kids, dude. Dude, freaking ungrateful. These and kids just don't, just don't get... understand, man. Like you said, you started learning like twenties. Like I think yeah. twenty was when I like really started accepting like. Okay, dude. Like, use your freaking cane. Like, yeah. you're it's it's a hazard at this point. And like, yep. you're going places, and people ask me what's wrong with you, and you're telling them you're blind but have no proof. Yeah, it's like 
Oh, your really? Independence, baby. Yeah. It's your independence. The cane really is. Dude. Like, I'd say the cane is our fucking, like, flag. Dude, dude it's one color away from America. Uh, it is. It's it's flag, baby. That's right. We got to just make the, the handles blue. We're, yeah, we're starting to petition. We want some blue, blue. on this cane, dude. We want the grip to be blue. At least within the States. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> one color well, they're, away. They're baby. coming from Canada, though. It's only one color. A lot of them are coming from away. Canada. Yeah, we're rapping Canada. And British, damn it, red and white, dude. Ugh. Oh no, we got black on there though. Yeah, we got black. Yeah, we just gotta turn the cane, the handle, the handle blue. blue. Yeah, and then we're good. We're good, dude. Maybe put some stars on the handle. I had a uh, uh, Clayton, my this buddy of mine is uh, me best man his wedding this October, baby. <laughs> um, he gave me a golf grip to put on one of my skate canes that was red, white, and blue, and stars and stuff. Sick, really, dude? Yeah. Wait, you were able to change the grip? Yeah, you can peel them off. It's a pain, but peel it off, and then just kind of slide and it on. And then there's like this um, um, tape slash like lubricant thing that slides the new one on, and then it doesn't come off. Yeah. Oh wow! Do you have that still? Oh, uh, that cane broke. That skating uh-huh. cane, but I have it. But the it faded away from skating. It just turned into like like all the <laughs> color got you know. Oh really? Washed away from yeah, it, yeah. From sweat, so it's stuff. just black now. But I gotta get one another one on those to make that bad boy red, white, and blue. I wonder if the dye came off on your hands. I don't think so. My hands are still regulars. For I guess. all you know, uh, no one has told me beer's uh, still coming up, brother. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sipping another one. Little do you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I tease you. I tease. I tease. What uh? What is Fort July to me? Fort July to me is <laughs> up north. Near, definitely need to be near water. Definitely need need be near some family, and definitely need to have for me some beer and um food cookouts. Yeah, and a tent kind of for me. I sleep in the tent when we're up north because the really? house is full and I sleep outside. Yeah. Just you, or does Heather sleep there, too? Sometimes Heather will. It depends on how packed the cottage is. Damn, we were talking about nice. getting a, like a, just an RV dropped off to sleep in that. Oh, nice. stuff. There's like AC in there and stuff. That would be mad nice. But I'm all about the, that tent life, dude. I love the tent life, dude. I used to freaking... <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to put a tent in my parents' backyard mm-hmm. to sleep out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the best That's night. The classic. You have friends sleep over? Yep. Scared yeah. out there. Scared, dude. I have a big, it's like a pop-up one, but it's like huge. It's probably like 15 feet by 15 feet. <clears throat> so you can, like I put a a blow-up queen-size pad mattress, in there, yeah. air mattress, but I sleep on, I have a cot next to that. Oh, yeah, the, the cot's the best. And then there's still room for like bags. I have a fan. That, I do run the fan. Battery fan? No, it's just, I just run the, the um, Power, extension yeah. cord to just rock the fan all night. So it just, nice. oh, yeah. It is nice out there. That's luxury. And when I got to pee, you just wake up, sneak out the tent real quick. <laughs> I want to get one of those tents that are like, dude, they have like ones that are like three bedrooms. Yeah, like yeah, they have like they, walls, they have like a yeah. chill room. Yeah, like a living room. Yeah, the big boys. Yeah, dude, that's four July to me. What's four July to you? Four July to me is definitely the beach. Yeah. Uh. You know, the ocean. Fireworks, too. Don't Def- add. Yeah, fireworks, ocean, family. It's pretty similar. Like, cookout. Mm-hmm. You no, know, just... I always imagine a beautiful day on 4th of July. Yeah, outside. Like, beautiful, sunny, sunny yeah. day. You spend it outside. and Yeah. Everyone's in a good mood. Which yeah. always isn't true, but you yeah. just hope to think that. We always, go, we always have a canoe trip we do, too. Down the El Sabo River. Which is nice. That's nice. Super fun, dude. Do you have to canoe back up? No, they drive you. <clears throat> they drive you up river. Oh, that's nice. So you're just you can pretty much just cruise and float. But then there's like a tree you can jump off of halfway through. We always do, which I think is gone now. A tree you jump off? It of? like hangs over the that's river pretty and sick. it gets, like drops off right there, so you can jump off the tree. It's super fun. That's. <clears throat> I think it was gone. I think it's got a little sketch now. You do flips. I always fl- I would always flip off it. Yep. You ever do diving boards? Yeah, a little bit back in the day. Not for a long time. Well, the best thing I could do was one and a half. Yeah, I think the best I ever got was two and a half. 
Dang. Off like a regular diving board though. Eat right, yeah, yeah. same, same. And, and I used any high diving. We used to have the um high dives are sketchy, dude. Yeah. We used to have the dive well, we to, I think they still do diving contest every summer at our local like pool right right <laughs> yeah. on the beach. Yeah. I won it like ten years in a row. What? Yeah, dude. With your two and a half, yeah, you always seal yeah, the deal, dude? seal the deal every year, dude. No I would, way. Uh, so you'd have to always do a jackknife as your first dive, <laughs> hey. and then I uh, get that out of the way. I freaking had to learn what a jackknife was just uh, to do that, that's and crazy. then I bust out my two and a half, dude. At first it was one and a half, like uh. first couple years, and then I do sometimes I do this one where I run and then turn and bounce and do a backflip. So do that. Turn. Oh, okay. So like gotcha. you run yeah. straight forward and then you turn around as you bounce and do a backflip. As you bounce, like you you turn in air, you jump, turn in air, bounce on the board and oh, do a backflip. Okay. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Yep. You take your one foot hop and then yeah, that's yeah. when you turn around. Yeah. And do a backflip. You ever do a gainer? I used to be able to. Gainers yeah. bug me out. I could, I could gainer. Can you still? Probably could. You just gotta jump straight up. They scare me. My uncle, dude. Two and a half is good. I don't know two and a half. My uncle used to go out there. We got to do that for a video. I know. A diving board, dude. A diving, you get, when you come to Jersey. That'd be fun. I got the pool badges. You're the freaking 10 time uh, summer champ. Dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I got my medals or trophies or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, like, my dad was cleaning out all these old trophies and stuff. He's like, I kept three. He's like, I kept the I kept the medal or trophy from uh, one was the sh- war at the shore was this like wrestling tournament that I got fifth place in that was like a big deal and it was okay. this sick trophy because it was like war at the it shore. was a wrestler on a surfboard like the trophy oh, so that was sure. pretty sick and then we had he saved one other one and then my freaking diving uh, championship diving. one of them yeah I kept three he's I kept like, three Tony. I kept three he's <laughs> like I've got them in my room oh that's, that's great. sick it's freaking great but dude high dives are freaking sketchy have yeah, you ever been on one off. yeah I've jumped off high they're dives. like I can't I don't even want to do a flip off them you ever been cliff jumping yeah you done that yeah. I loved cliff jumping yeah, I've been I haven't done it in a while ones. I used to go to these ones in Hunter Mountain uh, in New York. That's in New York. Yeah, and they used to freaking, they were high. I think there was like a 40 foot one. Oh, I went to, we went to, there's one at Lake Cumberland, which is, what is that? Gotta get Tucky down to down Cumberland, man. Like, yeah, south of here, but they have big ones. I think the one, I swear it was like 90 feet. I feel like we jumped off. It was huge. 90 feet? It was, Holy shit! Yeah, maybe it wasn't nine. Nine is really big. That's big. That's. It was like it was big. It was big to a point where like I think nine not, you would like hurt. A lot of people wouldn't do. Yeah, it hurt. When <laughs> you would hit, and you had to make sure you if your arms were out. Oh, they would stop! Slap. Yes. One. So if your arms are out, you get slapped, slap, dude. Yeah, flap your arms. Here's a big one though. That was scary to jump off of. Speaking like you're you're falling for like a second. Oh, Anthony got it. Speaking of big one. Cheers, <laughs> bud. Happy Fourth of July, Cheers, happy Fourth. Got my beer. That's right. yours. That's a, that's a Canadian beer, you, but uh, you for those little You know what? Guys. It's made in New York. It's brewed in New York. It's now. brewed in New York. Canned in New York. So what is it? Labatt Light. Oh, is that the Labatt? Yeah. That's what they were I think it is. Yeah, for sure. That's how there's. So that's how there's drinking dads. on your birthday. That's a classic, like dad garage thing. Is it like a um, Michelob Ultra? What? Like that type of beer? No, I'm just saying. Just oh, that, this the thing. size of that bottle. It's like a giant beer bottle. What's in here? Change? Yeah, there's some change in there. You gotta, you gotta stack it up, boy. I know. I stopped You're slacking it on the change. I think all that's changed. That. Coinstar did not take back. Oh. <laughs> so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember like a, that. There's a button in there. Yeah, I remember going to like. You remember Commerce Bank? Commerce. I, don't know I used to go to this Bank. Commerce Bank, and you would do that. They'd have the coin machine, uh-huh. and if you guessed right or like close to what oh. you had, they give you a little surprise, and it'd be like a like C shaped uh, freaking <laughs> coin thing, like you a piggy bank. Oh, a piggy bank. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's tight. Piggy banks, dude. Yeah, dude. Piggy bank, man. Oh, I got a story, actually. <laughs> Speaking of these change things, this will tell you how freaking shitty of a brother I was. Um, 
One time, my brother Ollie, the one that passed, he freaking went to Spain, right, to study abroad uh-huh. in college, and he had this freaking change thing, dude. That was, it was a five gallon glass thing, and uh-huh. it was like a, I think it was Corona or something, and he had it filled like with change, like fuck filled, filled dude, yeah. and like I, I used to go down there and just take like. Like three dollars and quarters, because it was always on stock, dude. Yeah, like, and there was yeah. mad quarters. Like, dude, he must have had Flat so much money in here. And once he went away to Spain, I was like, oh, you know, I just started dollar taking here, like a dollar, dollar here, a dollar there, there and like yeah, going to town, dollar. dude. I go to town and get like a bag of chips and a soda or oh, something, like, no. and then I start taking five, and then I'd be like, oh, let me see, like, you know, I got, I want to buy this, like. Shirt. So let me take like twenty five and quarter. Oh my god! Next thing I knew, dude, I freaking took this thing. It was like a quarter way full left. Yeah, (laughs) and I took it to the freaking. To the coin change you thing. Just took it back. Yo, I took the glass thing. I put it in a backpack. The backpack wouldn't even zip all the way. Like I was it like, was yours. I was like eleven years old, dude. Like, I was such a I'm dumb kid. It all. I was like, oh, it's my big brother. He won't care, you know. And I fucking took it all. I was like, I literally like thought maybe he wouldn't even notice. <laughs> yes. So and and I, I went and like cashed that in. I think it was like 200 bucks left. Holy <laughs> and my brother's smokes. gone for like months, dude. And I blew through that money like buying pizza for my friends and oh, stuff. Like God. being like the little kid with all the money. And like just being so generous too, you know, like not caring. And the next thing he was gone and he came home. And I will never forget, dude. He went down like... <laughs> It, I think it took like two days uh, for him to actually realize. So he looked over and was like, yeah. wait, what He's like, the? He fucking freaked out on me, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure he beat me up. Like, yeah. he was like, yo, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you took, at first he thought it was my sister, too. And I was yeah. like, hell yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh it was bad, dude. So bad. I'm sorry, Ollie. Damn. I learned dude. my lesson though. I totally learned my lesson there. I never took another cent so from funny, anybody. So funny when you're a kid, you think like he won't. Notice. Yeah, I was like he but won't like, notice. He you're like, like it's not a big deal. He probably took like half a year filling that. Dude, I, I, yeah. that's what I mean. He spent probably a whole year filling that up. Yeah, it and was you just fucked up. Started with it. Oh, with started with fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, I take a dollar. Uh, you know what? I want to get a t-shirt. Too many $25. cookies from the cookie Screw jar. It. I'm putting. I'm, I'm just cashing it in, dude. Wow. Oh, man. Not, st- when those I was are a growing kid, pains. I stole money from, out of my mom's purse when I was like, <laughs> Oh, I was in... What was I in? Elementary school, for sure. Yeah, it's always in elementary. Yeah. It, it was probably like sixth If you're eight. stealing money from your mom in seventh, sixth through eighth, like fifth through eighth grade, you're kind of like sixth through eighth grade, you're... Oh, that's, yeah, dude. yeah, you're blowing it. Yeah, you, you're not going, please. I was like, it was like 80 bucks, something where it just seemed like I was rich. That's a lot, yeah, but especially I, in I elementary. I was like pulling out at school and just like showing people. <laughs> Check this out. And then I, I remember walking home, like my mom was asking like who took this money. And it was, we have, I have three older brothers too. So it was like, could have been any one of us. And uh, I was walking home. My brother Nick comes up to my friends and like, hey. Did Dan have any money or anything? <gasps> Did Dan have any money? And all my friends were like, yeah, he had like 60 bucks he was showing up. <laughs> ratted me straight. I was like, oh, no. And that walk home. Oh, no. That stomach feeling? Oh, yeah. I remember telling the girl I was with, I was like, hey, I'm probably going to be grounded for a while. <laughs> you might not see me. That was a <gasps> Did Nick, what, what was Nick saying to you on the walk home? Uh, he took off and he went and told my mom. He's like, oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, no. And he, she ratted me out, too. Dude, dude. Was your mom pissed? You know what? Did you I, still have the money? Dude, I barely... I, maybe I spent a little bit of it. I didn't even know what to do with the money. <laughs> how young I was. Like that much money. I think I spent a little bit at the... There's like a little corner store, liquor store. Yeah. But... Dude, I was spending... I, I was spending it. a pizzeria. I don't remember my mom being that mad, though. I think she... I think she was just disappointed. Just like taught you your lesson. I don't remember. I remember... Yeah, I learned Nothing. I remember the first time my mom ever said... I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Mm-hmm. And that was like, I was like, you just fucking scream at me and like get this over with. Like, yeah. That was the worst yeah. thing you could ever say. Yeah, that was uh, stealing money. Yeah. 
Yours is funny though, dude. Like, hey, that was so bad, dude. That was, that was to bad. Just that was so exchanging bad. It all, like, it's yours. One time it happened too with like <laughs> actually the same trip. I was using he had really nice colognes too. Oh my and I started God. using his colognes and then one time me and my buddies were these kid like this kid talked me into like spraying cologne on like a lighter. To like make it the flame get like huge, yeah, yeah, and like we started doing that, and I wasted so much of his <laughs> cologne while he's gone. And this was like, dude, like eighty hundred dollar things of cologne, yeah. And he came back so pissed, dude. He was dude, like, you rated, you know how much that fucking cologne was, dude. You rated it, and my brother Ollie, like, he was totally like, he saved his money. He uh, like, yeah. he was a hustler too. Like, I remember he like, I wanted a freaking hat of his so bad, and he made it so cool to me, like the hat, uh, and he sold it to me for like fifteen bucks. <laughs> I was so fat. Like he was, he like saved up though. He's very like, yeah. didn't ask for anything from anyone, and that I just like can't believe I was such a little piece of shit. Little brothers, dude. Yeah, yeah I never really stole anything from my brothers. Oh, dude, I used to steal clothes. Yeah, my old, they hate my other brothers were clothes. closer in age, so they would, or just older, I guess, so they would take each other's clothes. But I never. Oh no, them. they wouldn't take each other's, and they were real close in age, Ollie and John. Mm-hmm. But like, I would take their clothes, and yeah. I was like a little chubby, so I'd stretch <laughs> them out too, and like they would get so pissed, dude. Oh man, you'd be like, just buy that shirt from me then. Yeah, that's hilarious. I know. Yeah, I never really. I never was in the clothes. I never cared about. I was just like skater. I don't care what I wear. Well, I used to be so insecure, dude. So like, because I was a chunky little kid too, mm-hmm. and like the blindness on top of it already created so much anxiety for me. Yeah. So I wanted to, and all my friends and like people I grew up around were like skinny little twigs, essentially. Like uh-huh. they they were like really fast metabolism, whatever. And I just like. Always was trying to feel like I wa- like I wanted to fit in, you know. Like I just, I didn't know how though. I didn't want to be blind. I tried so hard to like act like I wasn't blind. Yeah, I mean that's all. But yeah, that's how all kids are feeling. But it's definitely heightened with the blindness too. Yeah, for sure. But every kid feels and then like the that. Ch- yeah, you know? I used to like. I used I'm to fan. think, like, okay, if I'm wearing all your John shirts, I look good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it was like that. Were they rocking Echo? No, they were rocking all like skate and surf brands. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I thought it was like, Yeah, stuff? exactly. Like Volcom, Hurley. Oh, so they weren't into like the. Uh... No, no, no. Yeah, Fubu. No. <laughs> that was like bigger. Like, I remember here, like, Echo. Suburbs, yeah. It was, like, Echo was like. Big. Yeah, Echo was huge. And. Uh, I rock Echo. Sean John. I remember Sean John, John made a little. Oh, um, I remember I had, Hill, G-unit, Tommy Tommy I had the G Unit. Tommy Hilfiger. I had the G Unit sweatshirt, dude. Just, it just said it G just unit. said G unit. Yeah, that was really and it was hot sick, thing. dude. I wish I still had that thing. It was throwback. It was like dude, gold. He must have made a million dollars off of that G uh, at unit least, dude. T-shirt and, and sneakers. Alone. The sneakers. He had G unit sneakers that were like expensive. Who made them? Do you remember? I think like Reebok or Nike. I think Reebok. Dude, that's crazy. I know. Fifty had so many deals. Like he was, yeah. he was a genius. And he he didn't just do the rap. And what? He spent it all. Did he? Yeah, he was like bankrupt. Yeah, back. but it's like, that doesn't really mean that much. I mean, it does when you made probably tens upon tens of million dollars and then you have nothing. <laughs> no, but he has nothing to show. He has, his assets are probably it's so insane, much. insane, dude. They take all your assets when you go bankrupt. Yeah. You own nothing. You gotta start from scratch. I mean, I'm sure he's doing fine right now, but. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he not. He talked about, like, in his book, starting from scratch, what he would do. He used to, dude, he, before he had a deal, he was making millions of dollars selling mixtapes. Yeah. And just hustling. No, he, his book's incredible if you ever read that. I should read that. Cool. It's, he talks about how he never, like, he's never smoked weed in his entire life. Really? He's never, he doesn't drink either. <laughs> mm. So, like, when he does those, um, he does those uh, events for, like, his liquor companies and stuff, uh-huh. he, what he does is pour out everyone a glass and then has his one of his guys fill up the bottle with ginger ale um, and it looks like the same color and stuff and sips it out of the bottle, like walking around. Yeah. Just to like promote it. And then he, he said one time, like he never wants to let the party down. So mm-hmm. like one time Snoop was like one of his uh, guests for his event and like Snoop was just rolling blunt after blunt and then like Snoop passed 50 the blunt 
And everyone's trying to be that person to get 50 to smoke. Yeah. And he said in his book, he's like, everyone's going crazy. He's like, the crowd's going nuts. He's like, I couldn't let everyone down. So I freaking took a hit of the blunt, but I didn't inhale it. He said he took a huge hit, like, just yeah, in, his in his mouth and let it out, and people went nuts. <laughs> but he's a genius, like, the marketing and... Yeah. Like, once I heard 50 never drank or so, I was like, whoa. Yeah, that's interesting. And all this shit, yeah, he's disciplined. It was crazy. He disciplined. He disciplined. 50. Yeah, that hoodie. <clears throat> he made millions of that alone, dude. That was so that hot for a minute, dude. That was hot. How much time do we have? We call Coco. We can try to call Coco we try real quick. Call? We're going to try to call our blind friend here. It's gonna we be got the phone hooked up. It is time. You think he'll pick up? We'll try. Call Coco. We've got this new um. Calling Coco. Bluetooth the hook up hype here. Is blind skater. Yeah, this is the hypest blind skater. The best dude, best vibe. We might wake him up. I've never heard him. I've never heard him in the morning before. Oh, yeah. See if... Hello. Coco. Coco. Yo. Are you? Hey, are you? Are awake? you sleeping? I uh, yep, I was. So sorry. But guess what? You're on the You're on the Four Man Eyes podcast. <laughs> Yo, good morning. Oh, fine. now I'm awake. What's yeah, up? Yeah. Baby. We were just wake in- up call. <laughs> <laughs> How you sorry. doing? Sorry to wake you, bud. Sorry. I'm doing. Oh, dude, don't even worry about it. I'm doing amazing. There he Not is. The worst. What's going on in my life? Yes, dude. Dude, what's up, man? What What do you got planned for the day? For the day, well, I'm probably gonna go pick up a new deck, and I'm Sick. then I'm gonna go skate at the barracks, and barracks. then I'm probably gonna do a sold out show in downtown LA. Oh, Wait, what, what you're show? playing? I'm an actor, so I'm doing a lead. I'm playing a lead. Uh. Oh man. I'm Mom Bush of this. Uh, hello, good morning. <laughs> my first, my first lead role in a published work, and Sick. my first lead role in a musical, and it's a very special musical. I am doing. I am playing Louis Braille in the U.S. premiere of the Braille Legacy. No way! What? <laughs> Woo! Talk about Are you independent? Yo, yes. Wait, really? And and it gets even better than that. In all of the in all of the years, the Braille Legacy has been slaying it in Europe. Uh-huh. As it's coming to the U.S., I am also the world's first blind actor to play Louis Braille. Let's go! Yes, making moves. Yes, Coco. That is freaking insane. How long? Wait, how long is the show going for? Do you know what date it goes sh- to? Okay, so for a few logistical mishaps. And it also running out of money because we had to, you know, start and stop rehearsal during the pandemic. Uh-huh. So we literally only have two nights. Oh, However, okay. it, we did, we had to, we, we had to get it out for that show of solidarity. Like we're not going to drop this. Uh-huh. So we only have today and tomorrow instead of a whole run. Okay. But the story of the Braille legacy is not over. I talked to the producer, and I'm going to re-audition for Louis Braille wherever the show goes on next. Let's yeah, go. Sick. Dude, we'll how do you... Keep us in touch. I was going to try to promote it on here, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, by the time this comes on, it will be... Uh, be done. And I've already when, done wait, I, I, I have some questions, though. How do you... Dude, how do you memorize your lines and shit? Braille, dude. So, <laughs> Louis Braille. Actually, no, there's... But how I many know. lines do you have, dude? A lot. A lot of lines, a lot of songs, a lot of dance numbers. But I'll tell you my trick. I well, I was born with an eidetic memory, but as a kid, I trained it to be even better. So I am at a point now. That's how I learn parks so quickly. Is I can read a script or a song or some lyrics or something once and have it memorized twice to verify, and then I've got it locked. Holy Damn. crap, dude! Got it locked in. Wait, so you have to do dances too? Yeah, no, it's a full musical, like Broadway level. How did they teach you the dances? So, in the most hilariously invasive way ever. (laughs) (laughs) This leg here. This leg here, yeah. 
It's like, <laughs> yeah. point your hips out this way. Yeah, now thrust, 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 thrust. <laughs> oh, there is, there is one, there is one scene. There's one dance where me and another one of the lead characters are doing this very twisty, rotating <laughs> dance uh. where we are like locked in around each other and like she's spinning one way and I'm spinning another way and our arms are forming this weird pretzel thing and we come out of it to this big stretch and then a dip and it's a yeah. super complicated dance and I will tell you that was the most frustrating thing to learn because we are both blind oh, and it's so good with, with, with a choreographer, a director and a co-director and a PA helping it Dang. took maybe like 40, 40 minutes to an hour to learn this dance. Just oh my man. gosh. So how much so how cool. much practice did you have to do for this? How many days? So we have been working on the musical for two and a half years. We started right before the whole lockdown happened. And then once that happened, we worked we took it to Zoom to continue our lines, waiting for the day we could get back in person. Mm -hmm. And so keeping all this going and keeping all this stuff going this is has like been weeks. years man Jeez. wow yeah it's been it's been years and it's been multiple times running out of money yeah yeah and you guys kept pushing we had to keep pushing so you know what it may not be a whole run it may not be a whole tour yeah. but you know what it's that show of solidarity that we're here and we're still standing so we got to get it out so yeah probably, yes hey. are you guys recording so it uh, yes, we are. So it's gonna and it's gonna be up on the internet after. I believe so. I don't know where it'll oh, be, I but this. I also will say the entire show and process yeah. making of the show is being documented by a pretty pretty substantial documentary crew. Cool. That's awesome, dude. I'm so and, stoked to hear it. And also for this show of solidarity, so we were originally going to do a whole full size run in our black box theater, the blue door in Culver city uh -huh. and see where it takes us. But because it's only a couple shows, it had to be special. So we're doing it at the miracle theater in Englewood. We made the front page of the LA times. So what? Sick, dude. In, instead of, instead of like what? 40, 40 seats or something that the uh -huh. black box has, there's going to be 400 seats and it is sold out standing room only. And dude. probably will of people standing in the aisle. Oh, so they, dude, they, if that they is, yeah. That you guys are. They're gonna run more. Dude. They're they definitely to going that. to. That is sick, dude. That is epic. That's amazing. Congratulations. Dude. Yes, dude. That's that's really impressive. I I don't think I could do lines like that. that it'd take me a lot longer than you. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Well, also I have to say, like, just because again, this is the braille legacy this was like kind of impactful to me because i saw the show in london at the charing cross uh -huh. and that was an insane performance that's why i auditioned for it i knew i had to do it yeah i wasn't expecting i was auditioning for a background part and i got louis braille so, dude so. that's that you <laughs> only you should be louis you shine man like i don't think you trying out for a background role they were probably like no we need this guy up front yes dude <laughs> That's awesome. So stoked for you, man. All right, Coco. We can't wait to see dude, you soon. That is a couple weeks, right? Are you coming? Oh, dude, I, am I coming? What you talking about? All right, uh, thank God. Yeah, I can't wait to see a, you, brother. for a skate trip in July here in Michigan, so we're all going to be together. But Eww. Thank you, dude. Yeah, we'll hit you up in a little bit. Absolutely. Love thanks. you, Coco. Yeah. Thank you for answering, and sorry for waking you up. Yeah, brother. Oh, dude, don't even trip, man. You woke me right up. That's energy. <laughs> 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 love you doggy I yeah love you both man Peace. blind thrasher on instagram yes. you know, blind thrasher on instagram coco adama coco that dude, was that was epic dude coco's was... killing it louis braille no. i did not expect all that that was freaking amazing yeah, that was awesome on that note dude independence baby that's talk about some independence learning braille. line dude the fact that he can read through a script have a memorize one go. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that for a song either. Yeah, it's a lot. I learning song lyrics suck for me. I really? hate it. Yeah, I end up just making them up along the way. 
<laughs> jazz, baby. Well, happy fourth. Yes. Happy, happy fourth Independence July. Day. Whatever you do. May the eagle fly forever. Eagle fly forever. And may uh, your country Spend prosper. time with your family, friends. If you don't have immediate family, spend time with people that are your family. And celebrate your independence. God bless America. God bless America. Love, Love you. you all. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. One love. Keep pushing. And one love from four bad eyes.